Welcome to another one of my math riddles. My name is Chris Sieber, and I'm the creator of all the videos here at Math Meeting. And my goal for this channel is to help you guys out as much as possible by creating as many videos as possible. I have videos in calculus, algebra, and I even make fun math riddles like this one as well. So let's get started right away. Um, here in this problem, we need to find the area of the red square. So notice how we have a red square in the middle that's shaded that we're trying to find the area of. And we have four circles that are inscribed inside of a bigger square. All right. And the big square has a side length of two. So using all of this information, uh, we need to find the area of this shaded red square in the middle. So take your time, work on this problem, and I will show you the solution in five seconds. All right, so I thought the best solution to this problem uh, was found by using the Pythagorean theorem. All right, so let's use the Pythagorean theorem to solve this problem. Um, so what I'm going to do is create a right triangle uh, that has vertices in the center of three of the circles. All right, so notice how all three of the vertices of this right triangle are in the center of the circles. And we can find out a lot of information from the circle. All right, we know that this distance here, half of the bottom length, is the radius of one of the circles. And the radius of the circle is going to be a quarter of the side length of this larger square. So a quarter of two, which is 0.5. Okay, so we know that this distance is 0.5. We know that this distance right here is also 0.5 because that's the radius of another circle, and so on and so forth. So that's why all of these distances are 0.5. All right, so now we can use this information uh, to find the, the distance of the hypotenuse of this right triangle. All right, so let's use the Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse of this right triangle. All right, so we know that the bottom leg of this right triangle uh, is equal to 1, 0.5 plus 0.5 is equal to 1. We'll call that side A. Um, we know that the right side of this right triangle, or the right leg, is also equal to 1. We'll call that side B. And we know that the hypotenuse is going to be equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. So we know that a was equal to 1, 1 squared plus b squared, which is also equal to 1. All right, so the hypotenuse is equal to the square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared, which is equal to the square root of 2. All right, so the hypotenuse is equal to the square root of 2. All right, so now we know the length of the hypotenuse, but we need to find out the length of the side of this red square. We'll call this length x. All right, so how do we find this length x? Well, we know that the length from the center of this, of this circle to the edge of the circle, this is the radius, so this is equal to 0.5. We also know that the, the length from the center of this circle to the edge of the circle is also equal to 0.5. All right, so if we add all of these lengths together, all these distances together, we also get the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse is equal to 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5, which is equal to 1, plus x. All right, so the hypotenuse is equal to 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5, which is equal to 1, plus x. All right, so now we know the hypotenuse is equal to 1 plus x, and we also know that the hypotenuse is equal to the square root of 2. So we can set these two values equal to each other and solve for x. So we know that 1 plus x is equal to the square root of 2. And if we subtract 1 from both sides of this equation, we get x is equal to the square root of 2 minus 1. All right, so now we know the side length of the red square x. And to find the area of the red square, we just need to square that. Okay, so the area is going to be equal to x squared and if we plug in square root of 2 minus 1 for x, it's going to be, the area is going to be equal to the square root of 2 minus 1 squared. And if we plug this into a calculator, we know that the area of the red square is going to be approximately equal to 0.1716. So this is the solution to our riddle, 0.1716. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this riddle and you want to try some more, check out my next video. Uh, the link is in the screen. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one.